Remember that time we did an intro that was good at first, but then it got horribly gruesome because it insinuated that we copulated and had babies, and those babies were our audience? Yeah. That was the shot right before this one, so you're not getting that. No. Though you just got it, kind of. <laughs> Anyway, it has nothing to do with children and having them, especially you birthing them after I have copulated. <laughs> oh, damn it, you just made it worse. Yeah. You just made it grosser. Uh, this is actually a haul time, baby. Uh, you know, those things we used to have, but then we had to make a mega haul time one because of you. This is ho- hopefully a normal one. never stopped. They kept coming. It's just we had so many of them. Yeah, you never put them up. But next. Anyway, the, p- <laughs> the point is we're going to do a haul toys junk. That clearly is gonna just accumulate dust after we die. Yep. Uh, shall we start, guy, or yeah. shall we fart? It's both. It's both. It's yeah. our, that's our cue clapper. <laughs> our ass claps. Speaking of ass claps, Harley B. Hulling and thus ass clapping will ensue. Uh, I'm not much for a bobblehead, but this no. this was kind of cool. Yeah, also it's, animated Harley. It's not a bobblehead. It's a bobble body. body yeah. It was pretty cool, man. I liked it. It was cheap. So, I mean, you know, I went in, I went in for the kill guy straight from Florida. So, you know, it's got cocaine on it. Yeah. Bad cocaine. Anyway, speaking of cocaine, uh, here's another Harley. I don't know what that has to do yeah, with it has cocaine. It has nothing to do with but cocaine. there you go. This is uh, some Japanese uh, statue that, uh, you know, is uh, cheaper than the super expensive one. So, there you go. It is official, though. So, that's the thing. I also uh, decided to summon some demons, mm, uh, yeah. namely to take care of that clapping sound that emits from your room at night. What? Uh, ass clapping. It's, it's, it's a problem. Uh, boom. Yeah, Lament configuration. Yeah, soundproof my room. <laughs> I'm like to hear my You're not claps. denying the ass clapping? No, dude, the claps are, are real. This is one of those uh, 3D printed things. The claps, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> By my cool? Uh, it's pretty cool, man. You know, and it's not perfect because it is a 3D print, but, uh, you know... In lieu of spending hundreds of dollars on an actual one, I uh, spent a uh, mad twenty to four bucks, and you just it, broke it. And the, it's got the you know you could do this little. Nope, just did the same thing. Do the other design on it. So if you're a Hellraiser fan. There are cheap ones out there that look pretty decent. I plan to repaint the gold, so that's cool. These, uh, these, not feast, mm. is my rating for that. These are this feast? was feast, guy. When we fucking found this, we were like. Oh shit! Is this a thing? You got it. Now I'm a Clive Barker fan. You know yeah. this. An entire section of my house is dedicated to, to the gayest man in horror. You have a uh, we have a video about your collection. Yeah, which by the way, we got to update. Yeah, we do. It's been many a a, a Barker uh, improvement. What the being f- a Barkers? There's a Barker out there. Cleared that up for you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, here's a here's the Candyman himself. This is a Mego toy. Mego are supposed to look like dolls, yeah. basically. And uh, they've released several horror icons, including the hideous Chucky that's way too big. He's got loafers on. Man, yeah, that Chucky sucks. But uh, this is a pretty cool one, except his head is insanely large. Yeah. Doesn't look like Tony Todd much. But the biggest problem with this figure was that this hook here, which looks normal length here, was actually about 50 <laughs> leagues long. It was like 12 miles, I think. This arm came up, up to here. Yeah, dude. It's because instead of instead of sculpting a new piece, a new arm, they just put the new hook piece onto the existing wrist. Yeah. And the new hook piece was this long. Plus, the hook piece also had a stump. Yes. Which itself was long. So, it had a massive arm about that long. So, we altered it and <laughs> fixed it so it's normal length. By altered, you mean you mad sliced that boy in half. I sliced that shit, man. I sliced it so many times. You might as well call me K's cooking. And I was cooking some onions. That boy was sliced. And I still, and it still, you know, it's doesn't long, fix yeah. the, the, the massive head problem. But yeah. uh, um, it's long, but it's, it's like movie long, not. Yeah, yeah. It's long in the know, movie, yeah. but it's not obscenely long like it was. But this is actually pretty cool, man. I'm a big Candyman fan. I'm a big Carl like Barker fan. So. Life. That goes in my Barker box, as I like to call it. Yeah. Um, next, we're gonna. Where is she? Got some wrestling figs. Here we got your girl Alexa. Well, now she's just an insane maniac with a creepy mask. Yeah. But uh, that was before that. That's uh, Dakota Kai, uh, Tegan. My knees broke. Damn it, Knox. Yeah. And uh, and uh, Becky Lynch. Snacky. My to dog add, ate my snacky, by the way. To add to my women of WWE collection. So that's pretty cool, man. Um, 
Go ahead and fill this dead air with I'm uh, chomping something at the here, guys. To get to my shit, because I got a lot of stuff. You got do. a lot of stuff. You got a lot of cool shit, man. Mm -hmm. Which is why I'm going through my shit super slow. <laughs> super slow. <laughs> now I'm going to do it slower just because you said that. Um, mm -hmm. Here's another woman of wrestling. Yeah. Rijo. Uh, yeah. Uh, Jim Cornette hates her, which makes me love her. Is that what you got it? Yes. Is that, was that the deciding factor? Because you're on the fence with this one. Yeah, I was on the fence with this one. One, because I don't really collect AEW figures. I do have two, but that's because they're rad and they go international. We're yeah. Mexican boys and the Lucha Bros are legendary to us already. But uh, Riho is this uh, weird <laughs> Japanese wrestler. That, you know, I only know through this. And she's got a weird face. And, you know, I was on the fence. But I do have a women's collection. So that, plus the fact that Jim Cornette hates the shit out of her. A women's collection? Damn, yeah, homie. women's uh, wrestling collection, okay? Yeah, mommy. So, uh, yeah, I yeah, got her. You know, why not? Then I got my, my uh, Death Metal Batman, which came with a broken-ass leg inside. It's not broken, actually. That fucking leg was jagged, boy. Oh, yeah? I'm talking you like... You want to swap it with mine, guy? Oh, is yours still in the box? Hell yeah, homie. I, I fixed the leg, but but yeah, I'm still like, damn. It, it, trust me, it was like this in there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'll take a look at yours right now. <coughs> damn, boy. I had to cough. Dude, you got to admit that this next one was quite the fine. Dude, I'm... I, look, it would have hurt, it would, it hurt me to spend this much, but come on, guy. That's pretty on fleek and worth it. It's a must. Now, uh, what is this? NECA uh, released Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie figures, the original movie, and they're all cool. Yeah. But really, I only wanted two. I didn't really want any of them because I knew that I would want all of them once I started mm -hmm. them, and I just don't have that kind of money. Uh, but I said if I do want to get some, it'd have to be the Raphael and Casey Jones one, two-pack, or the Shredder and Splinter one. And boy, got him. Some mad guy was hiding it. And you found it. Yes, yeah, so I, I found some guys that... These suckers, I, I talked to... I was paying for this, and one of the workers came up, and he's like, Hey, man, do you know why people are just taking these, like, right away? I'm like, yep, they're scalping them. He's like, yeah, man, I just put them out, and some dude came and took them all. One dude. Thank you. Come on, man. Uh, and somebody hit this one, and I found that boy, and I took that boy. Rad, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, dude. Freaking uh, 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 Shredder, dude. Shredder. Make sure he has a. Make sure he has the a right and the left leg. Oh yeah, huh? <laughs> that was a problem that was happening. Yeah, he's got the right legs. I right, good. He got good legs. Right and right. Damn, that is. You got a damn Rati. Rati boy. You got Ratis. Nope. Nothing to do with rats. This Literally one. nothing. Uh, Batman Earth negative eleven, aka. What's her name? Bryce Wayne. There you go, Bryce Wayne. Yeah. Some sort of Aquaman, Batman, yeah. uh, chick mix-up. Finally, you have all the freaking uh, the knights. Metal knights, yeah. Well, so all the cool. original knights. Yeah. Now there's like 10 million. So that's cool. That was a, a collection I was looking to complete. Done. And this is this was quite the interesting affair. Mm. So, uh, oh, yeah, this thing. If you saw my Hellraiser collection video, you knew that I had one missing piece. In terms of the six inch figures. And it bugged me forever. Because they took it from me damn it. And they're just kind of expensive to find. So I found one that was. Cheap. And it's pretty clear to me why it was cheap. <laughs> it's cheap the, the, the box is pretty beat up. And it's dusty. You know it's in somebody's bin somewhere. And I ordered it though. Because I mean all I want is a figure right. To complete my shit. And it never got here. It literally spent a week. Traveling across the United States to a completely different area of the nation, uh. and then I was like, "What is this?" And I waited, <laughs> and it just it just disappeared, man. It would just disappear. So I contacted the guy, and the guy said nothing. He just refunded me, and I was like, "Come on, guy, I want the item." And uh, lo and behold, a few weeks later, it just showed up. So I got refunded, and then it showed up at my door. Now I was like, it's a little dusty boy. It's going to bother me that he's in this fucked up pose inside. Yeah. Like, eh. His hands, yeah, he's like, hey, what you doing on me? Eh? Uh, but I was like, it's complete at the very least. But then, out of the fucking blue, another one showed up. And this one's basically brand new. And it's yeah. it's in the correct so pose inside. Did, did this homie have like 10,000 original pinheads? 
I guess, Nothing. man. He oh. must have... Uh, and he cause... still refunded you, so it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, my request was not for a refund. My request was, you know, I want the thing. Can you at least track it down? So I guess he did both. So which, I mean, cool, thanks. Did you rate but, that um, boy? Yeah, I gave him a straight five, guy. Yeah. Fortunately, the ranking system was to 100. <laughs> like, damn, homie. You know, come on, boy. Uh, then my friend sent me this, which is really cool. Yeah. Um, uh, Stephen King figure. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Jeffrey Combs from Reanimator. Uh, you know, looking like straight Stephen King. Also looking like he's made of peaches. Yeah, he's pretty orange. This is an orange-ass figure. I don't know if that comes out on the video, but holy shit, it's orange. But it's really cool. You know, it's really cool. It's one of those resealable boys. Uh, it looks really good. Comes with a dead cat. Too. Comes with a dead... Tons of accessories, including dead cat. Yeah, the reagent. Uh, Dr. Hill's head, etc. Awesome if you're a horror fan, you know. You know how that rolls, boy. <coughs> then, well, you found this at a Goodwill, and I, I, if it was intended for you, I just took it because of the Harlection. Mm -hmm. I mean, you paid for it. Well, I, also, it's got jizz on it. Like, I'm, yeah, it does. Like I mentioned, part of my uh, pride is to add shitty things to collections, and I figured this was going to be one of them. It's definitely not. Yeah. It doesn't jibe with the rest of my collection. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, Hell I'm yeah. not one for plush figures, but there you go. Now I got one. So that's cool. And then, oh my God, we're getting close to the, that thing. Oh, <laughs> shit. Oh, I found this. I've been wanting this, but, but I wanted a figure of it. But I went to, what the hell? This is uh, the Baroness uh, from G.I. Joe. I went to Think Geek, and I guess they're closing because uh. there's nothing going on there. Nothing. So they had this on clearance for twenty four bucks. Yeah, it's like a sixty buck figure yeah. or statue. So I was like, hell yeah, boy! And then the super fat gay guy attended me, and he was not having it. Oh, the fat gay guy. Yeah, but How's he was he sad that day, guy. Oh man, because they're closing. I guess so, man. Some he kid was mictorating upon a store. Yeah, yeah. He he wasn't. He it wasn't a good day for him. I don't know what his name is, so I'm gonna call him uh fgg fat gay guy yeah fat gay guy uh but uh he, he yeah he, he wasn't uh there <coughs> excuse me <coughs> what the hell give me the vid though apparently covid that is not a video of him jerking off or uh nope <laughs> <laughs> uh but okay and then forgot to show this in the last haul but here's another one of those Mego figures this is a uh, texas chainsaw massacre leather face from the remake figure uh, with brown arms for some fucked reason. Well, he does have an undershirt. Boy, those are straight arms, guy. But oh, uh, they're, they're, oh, they are. They just painted his arms. Yeah, well, he's got like leather, leather. It's supposed to be a shirt. Yeah, but it it looks like just black arm guy. And the black arm of the, the head sculpt on this is pretty fucking rad, man. Yeah. And uh, this was the first one of these Meagles I bought, and this candy man. Uh, I don't know. Uh, next to the the Chucky. <laughs> Dude, you gotta get that fly, homie. The There's going to be a flock, flock fly, fly, man. Flock fly? Flock fly I free? Can't, I can't not have that flock fly guy. It's a must. I might get that flock fly too. You'd be flocked if you didn't. Yeah, flock fly fury. So next we have a <coughs> a guy that's definitely not flocked unless you count uh, green uh, constructs as flock. God damn it, that sucked. So here we go. The John Stewart flock. Uh, <laughs> green Lantern. Yeah. Which pretty, uh, pretty cool, man. Yeah, this is a really good looking fig, man. Uh, uh, actually, I'm very surprised at how good it looks, you know. So this was cool, and we found this at a at a local shop that we just discovered. That's pretty rad, <coughs> and we'll have a story time about something that happened there. Yep. Uh, that so guy. That, yeah, Stay that tuned. Guy was a thing. Next, the same shop. I finally found a replacement Wonder Woman guy that wasn't all fucked. Yeah, you had a issue with her torso being mad disconnected. Yeah, man. And it's now like, you kind of need one because of the upcoming yeah the Justice, Justice League. League I want to leave my Justice League, so I finally got one that wasn't all fucked. That was in the good position inside the box. That wasn't all torn up, so I can complete the league. Watch them release a special league version or something. I mean, oh yeah, I guess you could come with a sword and shield, which Patty Jenkins refused to put in the movie because quote. She wouldn't use that. Come on, guy. Man, Wonder Woman 84 was a thing. Yep. A bad thing. Wasn't good. Then, the whole reason I went to the shop, other than to see for myself if it was cool or not, was because they had something that I'd been looking for uh, for a while, except uh, everywhere online, people are mad selling it for insane prices. And I'm like, come on, guy. Does that. Nobody's going to buy that for that much. 
And this guy just happened to have it listed on his website for a reasonable price. And that's uh, the Felinic Female. Felinic Female! The Felinic Female uh, uh, statue here from The Dark Knight Rises. Checking as as you like dookie. to say, uh, she's taking a mad dookie. As you can see, she's got mad booty, apparently. Damn, they were uh, very generous with that booty. That booty's big. And uh, I showed this to uh, our former co-host, The Guardian. And he said, it would break the moment it entered my room. And I'm like, what? Why? And he goes, because I would jizz all over it. So oh, damn it. That's yet another disturbing story Real from... Firehose jizz? Apparently, another disturbing story from The Guardian. Why would it break it? I don't know, man. <laughs> the Guardian's a guy that we knew. Yeah. Or no, I guess. He's pretty on fleek. So there's that. In a weird way, he's an on freak fleek. Wait, ah. the, other, the other way around. I can't get it back in there, okay? On and, fleek freak. Huh? And when I was there... I thought you already had this guy. No. Don't have this. This is the Frank Cho Harley Quinn that uh, I've been having a really hard time getting because it's limited no. and it's sold out immediately everywhere. Yeah. Except for resellers. <laughs> and I just happened to have it again. Couldn't pass up on the deal guy. So I got that boy. Boom. And then today I took you mm -hmm. and... uh uh -huh! And you had to, you, you, you bought boy. one of your own and you'll show the rest of yours. Yeah. But uh, uh, you passed on the, the love, if you will. I know, you're, I know you're a fan, so I had to. Again. Yeah, man. I saw your sadness when I didn't offer it. Jorel, boy, it's Russ. Russell you got, Crowe. You got a mad Russ fig now, okay? Yeah. So uh, this is from the Man of Steel Movie Masters uh, figure series, which you got a few of you'll show right now. Uh, these are actually pretty cool, man. Uh, yeah, these were some of the some of the when they when when in the uh, online and when these uh, came uh, out, the pictures looked terrible. Um, like even now, if you look up, up Zod, his face looks like it's squashed. Mm -hmm. But they, in person, they actually looked pretty badass. Yeah, these are pretty rad, man. Movie Masters line was like a, a little, I guess, supposed to be more collectible series. Yeah. Like they, they did some for Dark Knight. Dark Knight, Dark Knight, Dark Knight. <laughs> Dark That's my favorite uh, Dark Knight movie. Yeah, cool. Where Dark Knight Rises. I know because I was looking for Felinic Female. Yeah. Uh, but I didn't know they had made these. And then they're pretty rad, man. And, you know, uh, you thought they were pretty cool, too. So you, you will see yours right now. That's cool. And then, of course, I was trying to not spend the last stretches of my, of my uh, money. But then this happened, guys. Yeah. Which is just means I have more dolls now. <laughs> you got so many dolls, dude. Uh, they released some more Billie Eilish related uh, action figures and dolls. This one's from when the party's over music video. Uh, this is it's in the box right now, but uh, you know it'll soon be on display. That's kind of what it looks like. Uh, pretty rad, man. I really like the other ones, so those are cool. And then here's uh, from a live uh, performance. That's what the doll looks like. She got a little buns going on, head buns, I guess. So, uh, yeah, man. The cool. guy would have just had them on his cart, yeah. and I was like, "You gonna put those up, boy?" And he, he was, was like, like, "Yep." Shit, yeah. And, and he was, I was like, obviously Psh. tired of dealing with people showing up early trying to steal everything. Yeah, it was a mad dweeb there going, "No, I want one." I had never gone this early during like a stocking day, and it was pretty, especially at Target. There was just roamers. Yeah, waiting. Dude, and it was super corny. Mad stalkers. Of yeah. course, we we waited till twelve to see if they'd stalk yeah, anything else. Yeah, but we else. went out and looked yeah, we at left. places. So those fools were just hovering, yeah. and I feel like the stalkers were taking extra long because of that. Because <laughs> we, we went back around twelve, and nothing had gone up yet. Yeah, that's true. Oh, oh one thing did. Literally one thing. Anyway, uh, so yeah, man, hit me with uh, your side of the uh, world there. Let's start with something that I purchased off a of dude on Mercari. And then instantly went up on Big Bad for pre-order. And I was like, oh, yeah, but I, uh, but I paid almost the same that it would come out to with shipping. This is the Flashpoint so, uh, yeah. uh, Bruce Wayne. Or, no, it's uh, his, Thomas, Thomas Wayne. Wayne. I'm sorry. Yeah, this is probably my favorite freaking McFarlane fig they've made. Uh, Sculpt-wise, obviously I haven't opened it, so I don't know if it's going to shatter it to pieces. But, uh, yeah, I wanted it. And it was, like, Target exclusive for a long time. And never showed up anywhere. So I just caved and got it from some dude. Uh, now it's up on Big Bad for pre-order, so that's pretty a pretty rad figure, I gotta say. I gotta get me one of them boys somehow. 
Well, now they're printing wide release, right? It's a so little crush. But who cares? You're not a box collector. No, homie. So All right, let's, get, let's do it, guy. Next. We got... Oh, damn, Man of Steels. So you got General Zod, which I... Man, I saw the other one, guy, and the other one was 24 bucks. So you got a good deal. Oh. Uh, so there you go. Oh, I did. Uh, General Zod. I thought I had gotten the 24, but I guess not. Pretty rad, man, in his armor. Super cool looking. Yeah, there's also another one where that that where he doesn't have the word like when he's the prisoner on. Yeah, and it's cool because like it's in that pose. Yeah, didn't get him though. And I got a cavalry just out of one in scale. Here you go. And it actually looks pretty decent. Superman with Kryptonian key, looking decent, not fees. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. They had another one of these that he was just kind of posing. Yeah. That one's cool. And, and then, then you got yeah. uh. Rust. jor -El, of course. Rusty. You got to get that Russ in the mix. They did have all of them, but I couldn't I couldn't get all of them. Dude, I'm mad considering that that Hot Toys jor -El. You should, guy. I want a realistic Russ in my life. Let's go from Russ to... Uh, <laughs> to no fuss. To mad, to mad dog, fat dog. This is a fat astronaut dog that looks like our dog, so had to get it. I guess you're going, what is that? Exactly. That's why we got it. <laughs> Look at this crooked-ass helmet, yeah. guy. <laughs> Oh, fat dog, look at this. Oh. Dude, this is the cutest thing of all time. So uh, it looks like our dog, so you got that. Stupidest. Is this the stupidest thing we got? Nope. No, no. Here no. we go. Definitely isn't. Uh, next up we got Bizarro, which we got Bizarro. luck. I got lucky at Target. Yeah, I found that boy. I'm not going to lie. I was going to take it, guy. You already have one coming. Well, that's why I was like, oh, holy shit, I got one coming, so... I saw your ass. I reached for it and you were like, oh. Well, like, I didn't see it me? first, to be fair. Then you said it was wrong. And I was like, oh, man. True, though, that may be. There we go. Yeah. Pretty, Pretty cool. Pretty rad, man. Got that weird Hitler hair for some reason. Yeah. So, a uh, bizarre figure. Mm -hmm. Our lighting is whack in here, man. This, uh, no, nah, homie. It's not a washed out like the other videos were. Here we got a stupid mini ass uh, battle cat. Yeah, that's the thing I bought. You like many things, I like uh, probably because of your penis. And so, <laughs> so we got that itty bitty battle cat. Yeah, super small. They also had. Uh, I was gonna say. Hitler. I'd say put it next to your penis for comparison, but then they'd be like, "It's big." Man, Sp that's good. I'm not even saying. <laughs> Speaking of little guys, um, here we go with the little Hulk. Uh, that's his name. Yeah. These are kind of like uh, reaction figures, <laughs> only not raping your wallet. Shit, guy. Uh, and not shitty looking. And not shitty looking. And, you know, they're very much in the vein of old school. Gotta hit that light. Uh, old school. Uh, fucking. What is this lighting? It's weird, huh? No, it's old fine. school. Uh, blind, guys. No, looks, guys. This lighting is fucking nasty. Perfectly fine. Is it? The other one. The other Whose videos, lighting is better? Uh, no, guy. Okay. The other videos, you're like, oh, dude, make it brighter. And then they came on. They looked all washed out and terrible. I don't know, guys. It's looking weird. <laughs> you're blind as hell. Look at that. We got that. That right there now. Now this. Anyway. This is pretty cool looking, man. Part of the appeal of these is that you keep them in the package because it's got that retro look. Yeah. And they did a really good job. You are not a package guy, I'm so not. I'm wondering what the hell you're going to do. I think I will keep it. If I ever find another one, I might get it just to take it out. I mean, they're cool. Always one. I'll see the appeal of taking it out. It's just a rigid ass I, figure. I like rigids. I bet you do. I'm not so I, I set you up with that one. It was, does, it's not even yeah. a phrase people say. I like rigids. I've heard a, a, a person say that once or twice. They were retarded? You. Yeah, exactly. They were retarded. There you go. Make some space over here. Uh -huh. Come on, guy. Well, hold on, guy. I'm going to show these before I can put these away. Here, put this. Hold this. What is uh, this? Okay. There are things I bought. Uh, am I proud of them? No. Okay. Well, we'll talk about this. This is part of gonna be a part of our story time about today. Yeah. I, I uh, do. I'm not gonna lie. I do like them because they do. I do have a bunch of mini figures that and it kind of fits into the scale. But there's a story attached. So we'll put them on top of this because they're so small. Yeah, tiny. There's a. Uh, Jesus. It's impossible to see. Uh, that's uh. See this lighting guy. It's uh, fine. It's, it's got a mad shadow in the back. What is that? Anyway, uh. We got uh, Gordon animated from the you know, Commissioner Gordon from animated Batman series. We got a uh, normal ass Batman, kind of Dennis O'Neill era looking ass. Yeah. Man Shadow. Shadow of the Bat, they call him. 
We got a uh, Ragman here. Looking cool. You I think you want to make a Swampy out of it? Yeah, maybe. It does look cool like that, though, too. And you got a tiny ass Poison Ivy. Yeah. They were mad Animated. cheap. Animated. They were mad cheap, so I didn't really feel too bad. Those are clicks, hero clicks, right? Uh, also, from this place, I got this mad button. Yeah. Uh, Big ass. The, that one's missing the clip, by the way, so that's a thing. Huge ass bat buttons. <laughs> yeah. This is things you collect that are weird. I like, I'm a bat eye, and sometimes I like to buy weird bat shit. Like that time you bought that ball and that then ball? instantly regretted it? Dude, that ball is in the, in the freaking like, chest of shame, dude. Yes, that Coincidentally, exists. what they call my own chest, and it's just my fucking. Uh, I was gonna say, I was gonna say biceps. They're more breasts. It's definitely not a chest. Nope, straight up breasts. Straight up udders, boy. Should we, guy? Oh no, not yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> gotta, gotta keep that one for the for the best for last, guy. So we went to to this shop where where, where the statues were gotten. I took you today because mm -hmm. I was like, boy, you gotta check this shop out. And initially, your plan was just to get the John Stewart Green Lantern, but then you, you yeah, what you got, but you got the uh, you got nostalgic in there, boy. Yeah, you found this Batman from, uh, I guess it's from Dark Knight, or yeah, it's from the Dark yeah. Knight. Um, I have the small one that they released from these. Again, it was like a collector's line, and then there was a kid's line. Toys R Us exclusive. Is I never saw this. Yeah, I've seen the unmasked one, which they had there, which for some reason is mad expensive. But this was pretty cheap, and I was like, damn, I got to get that. Pretty cool, man. Um, yeah. Cool. And a uh, good price, so that's cool. They had a Wonder Woman that I wanted, but that was definitely super expensive. And then I got the Travis Stewart Green Lantern, which we've already seen. Pretty cool, pretty rad. Same spot. Let me check the box. Well, you picked yours. Yeah, yeah, mine, mine's good looking. All right, this next go. one is a, is a precursor to an upcoming thing that you're going to see. Uh, but uh, this was mad cheap on Amazon because it was used. Mad, not used. I already built it, so I just brought the box to show it. Is a mega block, mega constructs. I'm sorry, Master of the Universe, Roton with Merman and Battle Cat with Heman. Now there's Heman Jones. There's a couple reasons why I got this. One, I'm a Mermite. I like fish-based beans. You also like Marmite. I also like Marmite, and uh, it only costs one dollar more than to get a Battle Cat or a Panthor and Skeletor in a box, because that Panthor and Skeletor are mad expensive. For some reason. So, yeah. It was pretty fun, but it was very easy to build. Next. Ah. Yeah, mommy. I got, uh, you got me. Yeah, I got you this. Uh, Ash. Bloody Ash from the Toonie Terrors line. I was waiting for Bloody Ash because I think it looks better than the regular one. The regular one just looked like some dude. Yeah, the regular one you can find literally lining the hallways of the White House. That's how many there are out there. Yeah. Um, I don't know how they got there, but they got there. They did, dude. Uh, so the bloody ashes. There you go. Cool, man. Uh, and you were like, "Fucking hate it, you dick." And I was like, "No, I wasn't." Guy. I was like, "This is cool, guy." Then you found this Stay Puff. Yeah. You wanted the normal one, but they had the toasted one, the which dookie. I think is Dookie covered. Like all your, all your Stay Puffs are basically they have Dookie toasted. on them. Yeah. <laughs> like, damn it. So but these, these are, are cool. these little knit looking things, but they're actually made of vinyl. Yeah, you saw well. You saw um, Leatherface one that I had. I want to get us the Stay Puff, but we didn't stop today. You mean the Slimer? Yeah, Slimer. Yeah, they're pretty cute and they're pretty cheap. Shocking for a big yeah, box. Twelve bucks. I got uh, the final so Iron Maiden pop yeah. I needed. You've been collecting the Iron Maiden pops. So Mad cheap, a, thankfully. Peace of mind, Daddy. Mm -hmm. Definitely not having any peace of mind. Look at him, dude. He's tortured. Me. I got Zodiac. Oh, I got my boy Zodiac. I don't know why. I was going to skip on Zodak, but you were like pimping him out as cool. Dude, I was like, you got to get Zodak's hairy chest in your fucking house. And, and then I like, got Zodak, and I was like, damn, he's pretty rad. He's got hairy ass chest, guy. And then you got another Zodak. I did. This he's, is your second Zodak. He's, he's coming, guy. I, was, I wasn't going to reveal that, but you. It's two Zodaks? Two Zodaks, dude. Man. Uh, and then I got this homie. That's the guy. That yeah, this is uh, this is not Master of the Universe, but it's Masters of the WWE Universe. Uh, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Uh, it's wrestlers done in the style of, of WWE. I mean, I'm sorry, Master of the Universe. Uh, 
You're not very familiar with this era of wrestling? Nope. So you were like, dude, is this guy cool or what? And I was like, yeah, he's cool. But really, you just kind of wanted him for the armor and yeah. the dragon and all that jazz. I do like the figure. I just don't care for the dude, yeah. really. And, I, and I'm like, yeah, he's cool guy. And you're like, I hate him. And I was like, damn, guy. I would I would say, was I? But I kind of was. Yeah, you were. I got this mad octopus. Yeah. Oh, uh, it's pretty good. Is it coming up later? As far as octopi go, it's kind of like a ring. Octo ring. Octo ring, yeah. So, right, let's dig into the box, box, guy. The box. You opened it. I came. There's a oh, video. wait, here, put, put some of this stuff There's in there. There's a video for this, a specific video, where we talk about it, but this was your mad get for my birth. Uh, mad deal, guy. Yeah, this is... Uh, uh, what was it? Art Asylum? Yeah. Uh, Eddie from A Number of the Beast. Yeah. And this Technically is... Technically uh, inaccurate to how he looks, but who cares? But it's Eddie. Yeah. You know? So, uh, yeah, these are pretty hard to find. And then when you do find them, you know, they're expensive as shit. Yeah, dude. Um, I was looking up the prices. is nothing under 300 Yeah. 18 incher, And I was like, well, you'll see the video. Yeah. Or you saw the video already. Um... The point is, hard to get, found it, birthday. Almost murdered uh, someone. Winner of all birthdays ever. And then you murdered someone almost. Also, was just to show you up for that shitty Chinese meal. I mean, that wasn't a gift. I saw it. That, that just made it worse, guy. Ready? Uh, dude, this is a <laughs> gift from the god. This is the only original Masters figure I have. And it's the only one I need, guy. Look at that guy, man. Tongue, freaking Lashore. A, a angry looking toad with a tongue that flies out. This is cool. It sucks balls, and that's why it's cool, yeah. man. Super cheap, too. I mean, I know these original uh, boys are kind of expensive, but I guess no one cares about Tongue Lashore because I got him for a mad scent. He's hella cute, guy. Super cute. And his tongue still works. You are a toadite? I am a toadite. I like amphibian beings. Well, and I don't know if is it supposed to be a toad? I think he's a toad. I think he's supposed to be a snake guy. Well, he's part of the snake man, but oh, he's a go. toad. Well, the point is, he looks like a fucking toad, and he does this. Sh I think I just broke his leg. Oh god! Oh, oh you, you made yeah. it hard again, guy. Yeah, yeah, kind of a loose leg, but all these figures kind of have loose legs. Yeah, stupid ass uh, rubber bands. Rubber bands, but you know how to tighten them, boys. Uh, that didn't sound right. Anyway, next, uh, I got a match. Macho Man, this is again from the WWE, uh, no, I'm sorry, Master of the WWE Universe. So yeah. again, Motu Hor themed. Horde World Order, I corny. I will say that for something that's supposed to be Masters themed, this is pretty much just Macho Man. Yeah. As he was in real life. He does come with a mace and this like a Hordak suit. Just like in real life. Just like in real life, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty rad, guy. Uh, I I stand by that. It, it looks more like his brother. Uh, what's his name? Larry Lieber. Lenny Poffel. Uh, <laughs> Lenny Poffel. Yeah. Sorry. But uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Apparently I missed his out. Was mega muscular. Apparently. I, mi I missed out on the first match. And uh, but this I'm pretty, a better yeah, match. This is way better. First match was kind of lame, I'll be honest. With you. That's why I didn't get it. it was match. Uh, shifting from Masters for a second to some uh, uh, Toxic Crusaders, I ordered a second one because his head was mad broken and dust was mad cheap. So fixed you it. fix that boy. Yep. And his head be... actually still still spins. Oh, does it? Yeah, unlike uh, mine. So it's technically a little better, though his uh, though he does have slight discoloration in the arms and legs. He still looks good, man. Yeah, these are hard to find complete, and uh, I mean this looks pretty new, so that's cool. I got a Super Seven Skeletor because I liked his head better. Yeah, um, the head is better. Don't give me also, that. he's got the the weird uh, spin around action. <laughs> And he goes, meh. Yeah, it's pretty rad, guy. I'll, I'll, get, I'll grant you a little skele, skele fun. So, uh, I also got a Snacky. Snacky Sna Lynch. Snacky Lynch. This is from the, again, Masters of the WWE Universe, or is a Motu theme. Uh, uh, she came with a snake staff, which is why we dubbed her Snacky. Yep, yep. Snacky Lynch. Uh, I got, got disturbing legs. I got two of them. Look uh, at that gap. Well, Holy they don't shit. have gap, guy. Yeah, I agree, though. It's a mad gap. So that's cool, man. I'll tell you what, though. <laughs> Your uh, cornucopia of uh, men. Skeleton he men. So I don't know what the hell happened, but there was like this mix up at Walmart. When I scanned these boys, they showed up as one dollar. So you so mad I just, about a million. I just got I got four of them and then I just scanned the one a card that scanned that way. 
And I mad left, and I felt like I was stealing. Well, and it's was the same UPC or what all scan. I was mad way. cheating, or I felt like I was mad stealing. And then I would check like a week later, maybe not even. I think it was that week. I checked again, and they were mad fourteen bucks again. Yeah, they do weird, uh, I guess, uh, wrong scans sometimes, and if you find them, well, shit, you know. But um, in case you're wondering, if we just bemoan someone taking a bunch of. A bunch of uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. There's no, Why this is okay? There's no shortage of these. Man, there's thousands of these. Also, you use them to customize Yeah. other figures. With. I'm working on a new Skeletor, and I'm hoping to do some cool customs. I'm just mad lazy. Yep, yep. So I got a, a, a horde of Heman. I also got my second Zodak. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. The Zack. Uh, unfortunately, uh, there's also the Zuck version, which is not very good. Yeah, he sucks. He's the biggest android of them all. <laughs> Damn. He is. Uh, I got uh, Biggie, which I was mad kind of shitting on. Oh, not Biggie. The New Day, which I was mad kind of shitting on at the store. And I ended up getting it and mad liking it. It's one of my faves. I'm not even going to lie. Yeah. This is supposed to be like a Manny Faces. And it's got all the three members of the New Day here. You spin the little horn. And he's got a, a often not used fist hand. For your uh, humans, yeah. Of course, you can't use it with any other humans because there's like black. only two black people. What is that? Uh, well, you know. Oh, I got Shira for Mad Cheap because she Shira? was used, even though she's not. Just a little dented, I guess. There you go. More Masters of the Universe fun. Uh, we got a little more Masters coming. We got Evil you Lynn. Master of Bait in there. That That's one's pretty, pretty cool. crushed. Yeah, this one was crushed, but it got it made. It meant you got it cheap, right? So, uh, yeah, that one, yeah. You got it in a bag, also, so that yeah, didn't help. Yeah, Amazon. If you're collecting these Masters figs from Mattel, the new ones, uh, and you order them from Amazon, prefer to get mad crushed shit in bags. Yeah. I don't yeah. care because I open them, but uh, I do mad tell people on those groups like, homie, be careful. <laughs> I got Manny. Got, um, Manny faces. Did I call the Did I call the, the, the New Day Man at Arms? Nah, I think you said Manny. Alright, so here we got Manny Faces, what that New Day one's based on. Yeah. So uh yeah, pretty cool. Again, you could change his hands. I mean are, no, sorry, his hands, his face. People are crying that his skin is too yellow. I don't care. All of these have very different colors to the originals. Well, I got a loose beastman. I was not gonna, but I did, and it was the box was in terrible condition, so we just opened it. Beastman with his uh, Shitty whip. horrible whip. Look at that shit. That whip's There's horrible. no whip in the world that has a handle that big. Who does that? Uh, big and, Jim does. And, and yes, uh, we're calling him Beastman. John Beastman. John Beastman, to be precise, yeah. yeah. Okay. All these are unpunched, by the way. So, for people who care. Angle. For people who care. Damn, just punch that boy. The art. Oh, man. <laughs> cut the... Anyway, we got a trap jaw. Trap jaw? This, this guy's hard to find. He's super hard to find. But you got him. So, yeah. there you go. Trap jaw. Uh, also known as Lars, Lars Sullivan. Oh, dude, Lars doing cameos. He's sucking a lot less dick, I'll tell you that. Oh, yeah. Mainly because he chops it off with his trap jaw. <laughs> we got Dean Ray Koontz. Dude, if you ever want a Dean Koontz figure, then just get yourself a man at arms and take his armor off, and there you go. I mean, you paint can't... paint that helmet yeah, on. like his hair. As his hair, and boom, Dean Koontz. Damn, you get the best of both worlds, his shitty hair and his mustache. Yeah. This was my favorite fucking figure as a Dude, you kid. sold me so hard on him. I don't know why, but there was something about about uh, Man at Arms that, that struck. Maybe it's I have a tendency to be very loyal to people and be like a behind the scenes guy, huh? Man at Arms inspired me, guy. But then he ends up being evil, doesn't he? When he's in Snake Man. I don't give a shit, boy. There's no. Does other... that mean you're gonna be a Snake Man? I'm a Snake Man already. Got mm-hmm. a little snake in my pants. Very little. Emphasis on little. Straight up garden snake. It's not even a garden snake, guy. <laughs> Straight up worm. I got. <laughs> I got my other snacky. Yeah, another snacky for oh. some godforsaken reason. Unpunched guy, and we found this at Walmart. Oh yeah, what the? That's weird. Huh? How? It was on the shelf. Oh, that's. Huh. Well, that's anyway, a conundrum. I kind of want to keep this one in the box because I do like snacky. So there's that. Hashtag crush. Mm-hmm. Hashtag secretly hating on Seth Rollins because he's bonier. I do hate him because he's bonier. Let uh, me see this. We got a uh, death metal bat. Oh yeah, I definitely gotta trade you guy. Mm-hmm. Uh death metal Batman right there. Boom. Uh without broken leg edition. Or not broken, but shattered leg and, edition. Uh, I got my Bryce Wayne. There you go. Yeah, you're the negative eleven. 
And uh, we're coming to an end here. Almost. Oh, yeah. He's whispering into the void. I got Tila. Tila. This was my second favorite Motu figure as a kid. Namely because I had 60 of her because nobody wanted her and the secondhand stores were all full of them. Mm. Uh, this might have also been one of the things that uh, inspired my love for female superheroes and, and characters. I don't know. Is it the origin of your female figure fiendness? I guess. I mean, I didn't really start collecting female figures till later on in the game, but that's because they were ugly. Yeah, they were really, really bad. It's like they didn't even try with them. Nah. But uh, she was definitely one of the early ones I had. This is a pretty cool fig, man. I, w I would hang out with her. I would suck her butt. Yeah, man. She's got snaggy's legs. Yeah, it's the same figure. It's just different armor. Next, you got, uh, uh, I got Fisto, Fisto. a.k.a. Uh, what they call your porno. <clears throat> I had to recolor his, his armor because it came black. Uh, Racist, though? No, it just doesn't make sense. It's not Fisto's armor. Uh, he came in this like skeleton head. There's other, there's I think two other skeleton heads. One's gold for some reason, and one's I think regular. And we saw the gold one the other day, at, but it's gold. It doesn't make any sense. I'm never so down the, the gold thing. Yeah. Never been a fan of gold figures, especially all gold figures. But uh, some people are. But uh, I just wanted a skeleton head. There you go. Pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. Again, I have no attachment to this as a, as a property, as a kid. Like, I didn't really care for it. I had Men at Arms because you conned me out of getting Skeletor. It was a good con, yeah. But, uh, you know, for some reason, I like these figures. Like, the new ones. The the posability is pretty on fleek. So, uh, suck my balls, I guess. Yeah. If, if you disagree with me, <laughs> I guess. I don't know. Why am I so confrontational? So, uh... Here we go, guy. This is hella corny. First of all, this... Oh, my God. Let's start with this first. Uh, we went to that comic shop, and you found some comics Yeah. that uh, that guy tried to... Well, that's part of going to be part of the story time. Mm -hmm. But you found some comics. You're a Swamp Thing fan, so you found this annual Yeah. where he uh, goes up against uh, old Batty. I'm sure it's probably overpriced, but it is Batman and it's Swamp Thing, so I didn't really mind too much. 15 bucks, right? Yeah, I guess. And you found this uh, Batman Spectre book. Oh, uh, Spectre. Uh, I know it's somewhat recent. I don't really care. I just want a Spectre book for my Swamp collection. And you found this assortment. Of these are cool. Oh, fuck. Yeah, these are cool. This is, uh... Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh, no. I'm homie. Oh, no. Said James Charles. When he got caught. Always getting caught, guy. <laughs> uh, you found these Dark Victory books. Yeah, the sequel to Long Halloween, cool. apparently. Pretty great covers. Yeah. So that's cool. And, and then, then Batman this Returns. Was, yeah, this was free, so I got it. It's got uh, Danny in the back. So that's cool. I, however, did not get anything remotely that cool. No. Nah. And I got bamboozled. I got, uh... Because uh, <laughs> you, know, you know me... Archie, this was this was a pathetic sight. You were should we save that for that? Yeah, what you were doing? Yeah, okay. It life was pathetic. with Archie. Yeah. Life with Archie. More life with Archie. You should get the free Archie app, dude. Oh, cool, Archie app. Get a phone just for that. Art man, there was twelve million Holy downloads. Holy shit! There's so many Archites out there. Yeah, there's a lot of Archites, man. There's a reason this thing's been printed. Uh, more life with Archie and more life with Archie, as you would expect. They mad suck. <laughs> I just like Archie, guy. Guy, is it time? It's time, guy. Shit! So we stopped at five below, and we've revealed this recently in some videos. And then uh, I guess some people thought it was a joke, we're, but we were unironically singing, nay, bopping, super bopping to that bop <laughs> to, to JoJo Siwa songs. This all started because one day. I, I, I guess our intention was to make fun of the Jojo Siwa craze, right? Mm -hmm. Now, if you're not familiar with Jojo Siwa, she's this young, uh, bow-headed, uh, ponytail-having entertainer. Kind of a, a jack-of-all-trades, if you will. Yeah. Uh, she does everything. Started off as a dancer, mostly. Uh, yeah, dancing, mm -hmm. music. I, I guess she's going to be in movies now, whatever the fuck. The point is, she's like she's like this entertainer that... that, that is entertaining kids mad girls yeah and, and it, it uh, you know the first time i saw anything related to that was at walmart and i was like what the fuck is this because i was totally unaware that this person existed 
And you're like, oh, it's this person that, that became famous because of bows and dancing, I guess. Yeah, there, dude, there was an underground <laughs> black market for bows during a certain time. Yeah, people were shanking people for bows, apparently. Uh, uh, but anyway, that's how I remained. And then one day we were so fucking bored out of our minds. Well, you came across her before that. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm getting there. Yeah. We were so bored out of our minds that I said, I'm going to I'm gonna show him what I've been talking about. So what would I, what had I been talking about? Well, one time I was I was just poking ass on the internet, you know. I'll, I'll do stuff like play Tetris or write or whatever, and I'll hear music in the background, as many people do, you know. Except that sometimes I just let it run, you know. And it'll end up in, like, the bowers of the internet. Mm. And uh, so I was listening to some pop music, and it somehow by, like, the third or fourth hour, it ended up on a JoJo song. And I didn't know it was a JoJo song, but I it was playing, and I was like, man, this song's annoying. And then, uh, I don't know, like three songs later, I'm singing the JoJo song yeah. instead. And I'm like, now what was that? So I went back and checked. I was like, JoJo Siwa. So I told this fuck, and this fuck made fun of me. And I was like, oh, I'm going to fucking unleash the JoJo on him. <laughs> it was Boomerang, in case you're wondering. The song was Boomerang, uh, which is a diss on them haters, yo. Yeah. But anyway, uh, when I were so bored that I was like, I'm, this is the time to unleash the JoJo beast on him. And so... We started watching a video, and again, the intention was, for me, it was like I'm gonna validate the fact. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna validate that I listened to this and enjoyed this by saying it was funny because it's corny. But the, three hours later, we we're like, dude, we just watched like six thousand uh, uh, music videos. That somehow, even though there's not six thousand of them, <laughs> it was literally only like and we were mad bopping. Dude, we were bopping so hard. So we're unironically JoJo. I also think it's kind of cool that she like spent all this time. We go. We learned as we as we went along the way of on our Joe journey. That uh, yeah, I think it's pretty cool that she she was an entertainer that entertained kids with kid stuff. You know, like yeah. I'm not trying to hate on anybody like fucking Miley Cyrus or some shit like that. But uh, you know, there was that period where you're like, damn girl, what is that? Yeah, clearly going all this way to rebel against. So you know. And this girl was just a girl that entertained kids. That's cool, man. I, I, I didn't have a childhood. You didn't really have a childhood. Like a lot of people normally have childhoods because we grew up in a weird uh, Jehovah's Witness household. Yeah. So it's kind of fun to see that. And we kind of enjoy vicariously to, to see people have childhoods. She mad own fools when she came out and they were like, my girl's never going to listen to you again. Yeah, yeah, when she came out as gay. So Was it a mom? Some yeah. Mom, some mom was like... Um, or, or, you know, gay as in undefined, I guess. Although she has a girlfriend right now. But anyway, so uh, some woman was like, oh, I'm never going to let my kid listen to you ever again. Evil ass drop on her, mic drop on her, on her with a response. Okay. Yeah, with a mad like, exclamation. Yep, that's it. So anyway, today we were at five below. Shit. And uh, I got to, uh, first of all, I got to partially blame this on the fact that Five Below was mad, not stocking shit. Yeah, it was pretty dookie today. There was nothing there. And we were like, what is this, man? We usually find out this one cool thing in there. They had that Garmin mouse or whatever, that guy. I don't know what the fuck, but there was nothing in there. It was pretty bad. That mouse sucked, you know. <laughs> a real mouse would have been better. Yeah. And then we're walking by the toy area. Was it this we saw first? Yeah, it was this. We saw this book. Shit! <laughs> And we we're like, dude, it's JoJo. We were. And then I was like, oh, I got to get her necklace. <laughs> you stop that. And it wasn't even like a thing that, like, it was like a reactionary, like, oh, shit, I got to get her necklace, guy. And then we were like, what are we doing? Yeah, it was horrible. So we walked away, right? And then uh, <laughs> we walked into the next tile, and I'm like, oh, my God. The what God. the hell? There's a JoJo figure. We <laughs> got mad JoJo figs, guy. We got fucking JoJo figures. What are really? They're kind of like mini dolls. This mad doll guy. This has got to be the weirdest, lamest, kind of creepiest, and yet awesomest thing we ever bought. Dude, I'm not even gonna lie. I was telling him that there, there's a big doll in the at Walmart that I've been looking at. Mm -hmm. Been cute. looking at? Yeah, because every time I go, I'm like, I need to get this shit. But I'm always like, Nah, <laughs> homie, I can't get this. It's like this big doll. It doesn't look anything like her. But when you squeeze her stomach, she goes, D R E A M. You can't. Nope. <laughs> not gonna dance. Not gonna sing the whole song. Um. They had other suits, but uh, we found this one to be the most JoJoian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, you definitely gotta get the the JoJo look right. Yeah. Anyway. We officially have JoJo figures, guys. You have one of these books, oh, too, no, guy. Well, I don't know where it is. Oh, right here. 
You almost torpedoed a kid through a wall. Well, that's what I'm getting to, guys. <laughs> so you got the book and then and, 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 and the fig, and then you were like, dude, you want a fig? And I'm like, I want a fig! So I got the fig. Or really, you were like, get me a better case for my fig. Yeah. You don't even collect no. in case. I'm going to open it. I hope so. But anyway, uh, the point is, I went over there and then... Uh, you were already paying, and then and this actually came out to less than it than it said on here. Yeah, way less. And you're you're like, dude, you want one? I'm like, making a mad beeline towards the joke. Here's the thing: there was only three left. I didn't even finish asking. You already done the freaking aisle. Yeah, you had bought one of the three left, and when I got there, there was this little girl there, and she had one in her hands, and I was like, no, they got JoJo, right? And I guess it was her sister or something. There was a little girl next to her. And I don't know if the little girl was going to get one to her or something. But I sure as hell didn't give her time to get one. Because I just, just mad reached my claw in there. <laughs> and I was like, I'm getting that necklace, yo. <laughs> Doesn't even fit her fat necks. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, dude. We need to get We're that. not even lying, guy. We were driving around. Dude! We were blasting JoJo, guy. You, we were blasting mad JoJo, getting mad looks. Uh, and uh, we were like in the parking lot waiting for a Best Buy to open, and we were looking up ticket prices because she's yeah. coming. <laughs> yeah, she's coming by locally. But that I think that would be a step too far, guy. A couple of weird fat guys. I feel like it wouldn't be mad because, bopping because yeah, we're bopping to the music, guy. Bop, bop, twist, bop twist to this bop. Anyway, that's a fucking thing with bop. Yeah. Um. Don't regret it. Equal opportunity uh, collectors, I guess. Uh, so anyway, uh, tell us what you think about this ridiculously large <laughs> haul. Yeah. This is a thing. Yeah. Anyway. Bop. Um, we're out. Bop, bop, this is. I'm homie.